Hey y'all, welcome to B's Intuition. I'm B, and I'm here to do a What's Up Wednesday message. So we're just gonna hop in and uh, see what's up with your person on today. Thank you guys for tuning in, I really appreciate it. I do cuss and I do tell the truth, so if you don't like either one of the two, then you probably should move on. Thank you to all those that have, you know, comment, liked, subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate it. I just pray that, you know, you continue to get whatever it is that you need out of my messages. So again, thank you, thank you, thank you. So we're just going to hop in and see what's going on with your person. Spirit, allow me to be the channel. What's going on? What's going on with our person, Spirit? All right, so we have <laughs> a nine. So that is an ending. So your person is going through some type of ending. This is my X-ray card. So you're going to get some type of truth and clarity as to you know what's going on with this ending whatever you know whatever situation this is yeah there is somebody capping there's somebody that's lying and so you're going to get some truth and clarity when it comes to it it could be about ending something they could be lying and saying that they are but they're not yeah whoever this is um they're restricted from you they're blocked you could have this person blocked out i feel like as though you know that they're lying and you're you're just wanting some type of proof, some type of truth and clarity that you know they ended some type of situation. Yeah. Yeah, I can't make it up. Yeah, this is my knowledge and information card. Yeah, you want you want some type of tangible Thing that is going to bring you truth and clarity to make you believe that this person is ending something or has ended something. Yeah. But Spirit says, you know, you need to trust your intuition. Trust your intuition. Yeah. You definitely have a spirit guide or ancestor that is here to, you know, help you with this situation, whatever it is. And I feel like it is an ending of some sort. So. Spirit, why is the nine here? Knight of Wands, yeah. So, they could be ending having sex with people. They could be, you know, they could be solely, you know, they could be taking action to end something. X-ray, why is it here, Spirit? Yeah, two of cups, a relationship. But you're going to get some truth and clarity about it. Stop lying. Why is the cap card here? Mm. The hangman. Yeah. Yep, and that's why they're stuck, because they're lying. Umbrella. Yeah, not a cups. Mm-hmm. Unrequited love. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. And that's why you're restricting this person because you were already uh using trusting your intuition. And this person was definitely showing you unrequited fake ass love. Knowledge, information. 
Yeah, five of wands. Mm -hmm. Competition, conflict, all that good stuff. Yeah, so you're going to get some information about, yeah, some truth and clarity about this person saying that they're taking action to end a relationship. But you're going to get, yeah, but the information is going to be that they're, that they're still putting you in some type of competition, um, some type of conflict that you didn't sign up for. Intuition. Yeah, trust your intuition, Ace of Swords. And you will get the truth. But Seven of Wands, make sure that you're protecting yourself. Five of Wands. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like as though you could have, you could have already received some type of information and you're walking away from this person because you're trusting your intuition and I feel like that you've already received some type of truth and that's why you're yeah, you're restricting yourself, you're blocking yourself, you're protecting yourself. Because you already know that whatever this is is going to cause conflict and everything in your life. Spirit guide ancestors Yeah, strength. Mm -hmm. They got your back. And they coming in hot and strong. Knight of Wands. Yeah. This person definitely is putting in action to... Not to end something, but to keep you in competition and to have you in the Five of Pentacles energy. That's why you walked away. The Hangman. Yeah, Ten of Cups. Yeah, they're stuck. They're stuck in a family situation and they're lying. They're showing you unrequited love. And that's why you restricted yourself from them and you blocked them out. Knowledge and information. I'm sorry. Eight of Cups. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. Yeah. Because you found out they were still giving to you and whoever else. Ace of Swords. Seven of Wands. Mm -hmm. The truth, yeah. Yeah. So you already trust your intuition and you got some type of truth. That's why you protected yourself, restricted yourself, blocked yourself from this from this person and, and having a new beginning with this person. Strength. Yeah, page of wands. You're going to get some type of message though. Six of Pentacles. King of Wands. Yeah. Ace of Wands. Yep. Eight of Wands. Communication or projection. Ten of Cups. Mm -hmm. Nine of Swords. So yeah, this person is all up in their heads because they know that they're playing games. Nine of Cups. Yep, the chariot in reverse. Yeah, you're not moving forward. You know this person is showing you fake love. Two of cups. Yeah, the moon. I cannot make it up, y'all. Whoever this is, they're definitely lying. They're definitely withholding information. They're definitely keeping secrets from you. You know, they're definitely doing the most. And I feel as though it's just because of who you are and what you have and what you can do for them. Pretty much. person is just using you. I cannot make it up, y'all. Ooh, and they are flying out. Fell on the floor. Hold on. Yep. Karmic masculine.
And whoever this is, they are definitely going through some type of karma and judgment. And it could be because of some type of identity theft or identity fraud. So this person could have definitely sold your identity. Yeah. There is some type of legal issue, legal issue some type of lawsuit that's going to take place because of this identity theft and identity fraud. Fell on the floor again. Yeah. You're, whoever you are, you're on your spiritual journey. And because of that, the, yeah, karma and judgment. Ooh. Third party, three or more people. Wow. So that's who stole your identity, the third party. So the person that this person is involved in, that they lying and saying that they're leaving you. I can't make it up, y'all. Stop the cap. Stop lying. But this third party needs to stop the cap and stop lying as well. Mm-hmm. Yep. Your person is just lying to keep you. Like I said. For who you are, what you have, just using you. Yes. Look. Masculine energy. Yep. Victim mentality, guilt trip. So whoever this is, yeah. Knight of Cups, yeah. Definitely victim mentality, definitely trying to guilt trip you. Yep. But they're betraying you. They're being deceitful. They're definitely envious and jealous because of who you are, what you have, what you can do. That's why they want to use you. But spirit, nah. Yep. But their secrets are coming out. And again, your intuition and the ace of swords. So, yeah. All you got to do is thinking. I can't make it up, y'all. Spiritual gifts and spiritual power. All you got to do is think of it. And the truth is going to come to you. Yeah. Yep. And whoever this person is, they surely need to be brave now. Because your spiritual power and spiritual gifts are about to be are about to reveal, yeah, to you everything that this person is lying about. The person from the past, so yeah, someone from your past that's hiding secrets from you. Yeah, but guess what? Their time is up. <laughs> Their time is up. Yep, they should have chose a different path. But since they didn't. Yeah. Yep. Because they did too much. And now they're running from karma. Yeah. You're protected from this situation. Yeah, because this person is learning karmic lessons. Yep. And your intentions are pure. Yeah. This person definitely could be bound to a spell. Oh. Yeah. They didn't have any boundaries and any expectations, any standards. And so, with that being said, Spirit is basically saying, throw this in a dumpster. Just throw it away. Because it's not going to cause you any type of uh, good good things. Yeah. Yeah. False person in karmic. There is some type of court situation. And so, I feel as though with this identity theft and identity fraud, that... You're going to come out on top while these people try to play. Yeah, I can't make it up. Mm -hmm. I cannot make it up. Divine protection, spiritual protection. Yeah. Yep, and the past is definitely haunting these people. Truth and clarity, again. So yeah, you're going to be receiving some truth and clarity. You best believe it.
and the fact of the matter is that there was black magic and spells being done. So they, so while they were trying to, you know, do black magic and spells on you, I can't make it up. The ba it backfired and tables turned. That's why whoever this person is is bound to this spell and they can't get out of it. Yep, and the karmic feminine did it. So y'all, that's what's going on with your person. You know, this is not everybody's person, but that's what's going on with your person on this good Wednesday. They still tripping. They still playing games. They still want to be toxic and karmic. So y'all, spirit said dumpster, throw it away. But y'all need to really protect your information, your identity. You know, check on it to make sure that there is nothing, you know, going on. But I do feel like that there is uh, some type of lawsuit or some type of legal situation that you could possibly not know about. That you are going to, you know, get some truth and clarity about. And I feel like that, again, it is going to go in your favor. You are going to receive some type of financial blessing for these people, this person, whatever this is, that decided that they want to be you and steal your, your stuff. Because there can only be one you. So, they tripping. And they're getting their karma and their judgment. And it serves them right. So, I hope it resonated. If it did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys soon.